Hey everyone, it's your girl Manavia. I am back with you on another video about got to be and ghost bond. Okay, so you guys, I decided to get a actual lace closure. Okay, so I just want to show you guys a little bit of how it looks like right now. Okay, it is lifting up like crazy. All right, yes, my hair looks super nice right now when you actually don't see the lace closure. But you guys, when I went to go get my hair done, all right, the hairdresser used the ghost bond and I absolutely loved it, okay? What I like about the ghost bond, it's really good for like oily scalps, um, high humidity, and as well as heavy perspiration, all right? And that's what I actually do. I'm someone, I'm someone that actually does a lot of yoga and stuff like that, especially hot yoga. So for sure, my hair is going to like get sweaty. My hairline is going to get sweaty and stuff like that. So definitely, this is a go-to. All right, go spine. So I didn't use it yet for myself, but this is the one that the hairdresser used. And I'm telling you, this stuck to my forehead for like almost two weeks and I was super happy with it and I think if I actually had this from the start I would have been even happier so I was told to get got to be got to be you guys I do like it but the problem is is that it's not for lace flakes okay I know some people be like oh my gosh but it works for me and stuff but it doesn't work for me at all. So what happened was, is that I used it, and you guys, I still did the whole process. I put it on my forehead, I waited for it to dry and everything. I even used a blow dryer and I just like blow dried it until it got like a little tacky, and I placed the lace wig. You guys, even just a few minutes later, it was still coming off like my lace was still coming off so this is from the got to be okay you guys i was using that and look even the lace and look even the lace is just full of glue okay like that is disgusting all right so at this point i was really pissed like look at all this Look at all this, it's full of glue. Like, I can literally pull the glue and it's like tacky in my hands, okay? Like, disgusting. Look at that, you see that? This is from the glue. So, you guys. So, you guys, for myself, I don't recommend got to be. I just don't okay I would definitely say go with like ghost bond if you're someone who's gonna be sweaty a lot um, especially like high humidity and for myself like I said before like I do a lot of hot yoga so for sure I need something that's gonna hold for like a hot minute okay cuz like if I don't get that for sure it's gonna like lift and I need something that can hold for a very long time and I find that like when I actually got my hair done, like you guys, it was so nice. Like I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna post a few pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about when it was first laid. Like it was beautiful, okay. And this is what he used. He used Ghost Bond, okay. So I do not recommend Got to Be. All right, not for a lace closure. Definitely not. Not from like edge. To like the forehead like from forehead to edge like I just don't recommend it but definitely like ghost bond is the bond all right this is it this is it and what I like it even says is with extra moisture control and that's exactly what you want and I bought this for like $24 okay this is nothing um, the got to be I don't remember because I actually ended up buying this like months ago um, But I don't remember Per se how much I paid for it and it's also by Schwarzkopf like I like 
first got for like professional hairdressers and stuff like that but I think it's good for like like it says spiking glue for like spiking the hair up and stuff like that when it has moisture and it even says to use on damp hair squeeze a small amount into palms rub hands together and distribute evenly throughout the hair okay for over the top spikes apply to fingertips and pull through hair twisting at the tips so this is more for like people who want like spiky hairstyles that actually look spiked up and let's say like when they touch it it just stays spiky without actually like falling apart and what's good about it is that like it can actually get washed out easily for them and i would say like ghost bond this on my hair um obviously like it's gonna get stuck but the what's good about it is that it holds okay so if anything if you guys want to let's say take it off and you're like oh my gosh i want to get rid of it or whatever just use like something oil based okay like i recommend let's say like coconut oil i also recommend let's say like uh olive oil and just like eyelash extensions you guys you just let it sit and you wait for like five to ten minutes okay even if you want to wait like 20 minutes just to be safe so you're not losing any of your edges from your hair or something just put that wait okay and you're gonna see it's gonna nicely start coming off okay really really nice if you're really scared and if you actually got your hair done by a professional then by all means go to go back to your hair professional and get your actual lace closure or lace whatever you got okay removed and that's the safest way like if you're just like afraid of like you know taking it off yourself but definitely if I had to recommend either got to be or ghost bond ding 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 ghost bond is the one to be okay like I don't recommend this one at all at all okay and you guys saw it I, I showed it to you guys okay this is all lifted okay all lifted and this is not okay this is not a wig you guys it actually has a sewing in the back and it has a lace closure in the front and I actually love my hair like I love it and I find like this is something that I can definitely wear like every single day but I'm not gonna do this to myself like I'm not gonna put this on and then go to hot yoga and it's off in like the same day like I go work out so you guys this one is the one to go and like I said I'm gonna post you some pictures of what he did to my hair like just like the actual images of how my hair look like how my hair looks like like when I actually first got it done and right now like I would say this is about three weeks of my hair actually getting done and uh, yeah like obviously I had to like try to touch up my edges like with the glue and that's when I was trying to use this and I got screwed over all right so this is it this is it you guys like I would say $27 is better than like this all right I think I probably pay like I don't know seven eight dollars for the got to be maybe maximum 12 like I don't even really remember how much I got it for but I don't recommend this one for a lace closure all right so if you guys loved my video about the got to be and the ghost bond if you have any additional comments or questions don't be afraid to actually put it in the comment section as well as subscribing to my channel okay and as well if you guys like I would really appreciate it if you guys actually followed me on Instagram okay Minavia underscore spa and I actually want to get more followers on there so I can actually help to like create more of a uh, profile for you guys and I can keep showing you videos and stuff like that so you can actually get to know me a bit more and I post a lot on Instagram so I like when people actually just go in there and just take a look at what I'm actually offering and as well I post a bit on my stories on YouTube and I do a little bit of lives and um, honestly if you guys really like my channel don't forget to subscribe <laughs> click that like button see ya